by logic, organic food has less stuff in it. Read the label of organic food products and you'll see less stuff, right? Simplicity. If you read the label of something that Nestle made, there's chemicals in there that nobody can pronounce and we just accept that to be fine. I mean, it might as well just say candy bar built on the backs of lower income communities whose resources we stole because we believe in profits over anything. Oh, also, uh, there's a sugar substitute that is going to decrease your neurons. Take a break from thinking. And most people would just look at that and be like, man, eh, wouldn't put it on a shelf if it was all that bad. Okay, so less stuff means less costs. But organic farming actually has a lot more costs attached to it because of labor, right? They don't use any pesticides or herbicides or growth hormones on their livestock. So things grow as they should. And that costs more? That, that makes no sense. Like, look, I get it. Like People have to be paid for the work they do, but with how expensive organics are, it's like each plant has its own caretaker. Kids in hospitals have to share doctors and these plants are getting their own butler. I mean, organic plants and livestock are like the one percenters of the grocery store. It must be because organic farming is more expensive, right? Not true. Organic farming actually saves a ton of money on a lot of very expensive inputs. Fossil fuel is expensive. Fertilizers are incredibly expensive. The chemicals, the antibiotics that are used by factory farms, these things are very expensive. Not just their externalized costs, but their actual dollar costs are very high. Well, so maybe organic farming saves money, but perhaps it produces less food. That's not necessarily true either. Now, this is not a blanket statement. It varies by crop and region, but there are a lot of ways in which, when done right, organic sustainable farming can produce more food. Okay, so let's say you have a child and that child would like to be a basketball player, right? In order to do that, they have to run drills, do workouts, possibly join a team, and also wait for a growth spurt. Or you can put a bunch of hormones and chemicals into your child so that they get bigger. And there is a slight chance that uh, that, that child will become one of the monsters from Space Jam. But that first option probably won't cost as much as putting foreign elements into your child. So why do we accept that adding foreign elements to our food is just okay to be cheap? Okay, remember how the food chain works? If you put chemicals into your food that is being ingested by your child, your children now have those chemicals in them. And eventually, whatever eats your child will also have the pesticides in it. So by being pro-chemical and pesticides that have known to cause various diseases, you're actually anti-food chain, which is just as bad as Tuk Tuk's drinking problem. Okay, you, pee you pooped by the, by the food bush again, Tuk Tuk. I mean, we've talked about this. Get it under control, okay? Now, the argument is that time is money. No, uh, time is a measurement of how much procrastination you can get away with within one rotation of the planet. It is not money. This is a classic problem with capitalism, right? It's looking at something that's been doing just fine forever and then adding its limitation to it so it can feel superior to everyone. Okay, who hurt you, capitalism? It, is it nobody so you just keep thinking that you can get away with whatever the hell you want? And we did try this time as money thing. Remember back when we brought like shiploads of humans into this country and forcibly asked them to donate their time to work for us? Uh, what was that called? Um, uh, oh, oh, right, slavery. So time is money argument is actually a pro-slavery argument. And this is just proof that capitalists that believe in that phrase are rebranding slavery and trying to sell it to us as an organic supplement. Okay, kale shouldn't taste like oppression and sh it shouldn't be paired with the wrong side of history. Okay, it should be paired with a nice Chianti.